Hey everyone, it's Ryder from Skip. It's Friday, July 16th. We finally heard back from our SBA contact on the EIDL loan process, why things are taking so long and what they're doing about it. I'll get into that letter, my opinion on the new information, and I would love to hear from you what you think. This all comes down to the EIDL loan increases, which millions of you are waiting for. According to our poll on YouTube, with over 5,000 votes, 84% of you are still waiting. Of course, when we look at the numbers, it's more like 95% plus. We estimate there's around 50,000 businesses that have had their EIDL loan increases approved. Our questions to the SBA were, what's taking so long? How many loan increases have been approved? Raw numbers there, because they've given that in the past. What, if any, changes are being made to the 4506T tax transcript requirement to speed things up with the IRS? And of course, what's going on with the technical glitches? I reported on this yesterday. So many of you received mass decline letters yesterday. Of course, there were different types of declines. Bottom line is there's a lot of bugs being reported. Still, months into this program, you know, and the SBA has paid millions of dollars for this software to help speed things up. Thanks so much for subscribing and liking this video. This weekend, we're giving away $1,000 to one of our subscribers. All you have to do is hit subscribe. So hit subscribe right now if you haven't yet. And one more quick thing to do, I'll mention at the end of this video, we are giving most of our YouTube revenue back to you. We gave away $1,000 last weekend. We'll be giving away $1,000 next weekend. Just hit subscribe and watch till the end of this quick video before you go enjoy your weekend. By the way, if you have questions about your EIDL loan, your targeted grant, or your supplemental grant, whether you're still in the queue, you've been rejected, I'm doing a live Q&A next week to Skip Plus members. I'm going to send details about this over the weekend, but if you want to be included, there are limited spots left. You can start a free two-week trial just to join us next week. Go to skipinvite.com. To start a free trial and to get one of the spots for the live Q&A, I'm going to be answering as many questions as possible because I know hundreds of thousands of you are still struggling. You have so many questions and you're unable to get clear answers from the SBA or what you should do next. So skipinvite.com to learn more. Also, if you're looking for full-time or part-time work, we're hiring skip concierges across the country for our car and driver road test service and our passport concierge service in most major cities. In case you're looking for extra income here and there, you know, these are scheduled trips, say next week or the week after with a fairly good hourly rate. You can go to skipconcierge.com to find out more and to apply in a few seconds, especially if you are in Florida, New York, Connecticut, Illinois, North Carolina, South Carolina, and Georgia. We're looking for lots of folks there, but also many other states and cities as well. Go to skipconcierge.com years.com. Okay, I'm not going to beat around the bush today. Here is what we heard back from our SBA contact today. Again, this is a response we've been waiting for for about a week and a half to hear back what's going on with the questions I just outlined. I'm going to read it, then I'll share my thoughts. Ryder, we are moving to address this challenge. Again, this is the challenge I mentioned. How many EIDL loan increases have been approved? What's taking so long? And what are you doing about the tax transcript issue? Okay, let me continue. We have already begun working on changes to improve the process, including coordinating closely with IRS to accelerate access to tax data, looking at staffing plans to meet the increased demand, and revisiting our processes to ensure we are processing applications efficiently. The current pace is not reflective of the high standards that we strive to meet, but we are optimistic that our dedicated team at the SBA will be able to meet this expectation. The second paragraph here, if you haven't heard anything, please log on to the application portal and check the status of your application. It may be that we need additional information. To complete processing your request, the SBA communicates via email, so also check your spam folder to make sure our correspondence wasn't misdirected. Okay, lots to unpack here. Bottom line, this is a disappointing message for many reasons. First of all, yes, we know there's been internal shuffling at the SBA. This is a new point of contact from the previous one we had. Now, this response does not tell us anything substantial. You know, I asked specific questions. This is a generic response, and that looks like it was copy-pasted to a lot of other media outlets as well. But let me start with one positive before I go into what's disappointing about this. They acknowledged finally for the first time that they're falling behind. Last year, millions of EIDL loans were approved within two months, period. This year, within two months, only around 50,000 EIDL loan increases have been approved. If we take new EIDL loans and EIDL loan increases to give the SBA the benefit of the doubt, maybe it's 100,000. Still, it's a magnitude lower than the approvals last year. And I get they are trying to put more processes in place, but finally, here is an acknowledgement, quote, the current pace is not reflective of the high standards that we strive to meet, while we're optimistic that our dedicated team at the SBA will be able to meet this expectation. I'm glad they mentioned this, but it does not inspire any more confidence. 
every day on these videos, I'm optimistic and I try to communicate data that you can't find out. You know, our job is to look at the data. What data is out there that we can pull out? What are we hearing from our sources? What will help give you peace of mind so you can plan the future of your business? If the SBA doesn't come through, what are your other options? Everyone needs a plan. The SBA is making it very difficult for folks like you to plan because you don't know what this means. You don't know if this means an EIDL loan increase in two days or two months, but at least they acknowledge that. But the sentence before that is not helpful. This is stuff that I suggested to the SBA probably a month and a half ago that they should look into. How to hire more loan officers, how to revisit processes to streamline things, especially on the technical side. You know, none of the technical glitches are rocket science. Yes, it's a lot of work. You need good people behind it, but it's not difficult, especially when you're distributing tens of billions of dollars. That's a lot of money. The SBA is distributing more money than most countries in the world. So it's not difficult to have software that's stable, that does what it's supposed to do. But this is what we heard three weeks ago. There's nothing new here. They're coordinating with the IRS. They're looking at staffing plans to meet the demand and revisiting processes. Okay, that's pretty generic. Now to this contact's credit, they did follow up later and say, I hope this helped. And as soon as there's more information, I will tell you. But again, this is something we've been waiting on for a week and a half. And this is the generic response we get. Like I said, I wanna give the SBA the benefit of the doubt and what they're doing, helping millions and millions of businesses is a massive task. I understand all of that, but it's really not difficult to share more information. They've done it in the past, they can do it now. So I hope this video gets viewed widely, like this video and share it because the SBA needs to be held accountable for keeping you updated on the EIDL loan increase. There are probably 3 million independent contractors, sole proprietors, small businesses across this country waiting for an EIDL loan increase and we know you're frustrated about it. Anyway, I would love to hear what you think about this in the comments. Just drop a quick note and leave a comment as well because of course for our thousand dollar giveaway on Sunday, it'll be subscribers of our channel, people who've left comments in recent videos, and the last step is to download our free app. It's HelloSkip in the App Store and Google Play, or go to the link trackeidlgrant.com, and I'll be reporting on more data over the weekend. Don't forget if you wanna join our live Q&A next week to get questions answered about EIDL loans and grants, go to skipinvite.com. There are limited spaces for that, and if you want extra work, go to skipconcierge.com to learn about our concierge opportunities across the US. Most importantly, stay well, stay healthy, have a great weekend, and I'll see you tomorrow.